All right. All right. Hey guys, Ben Pinion here. I'm back with another Life is Strange video, part three. Now, I forget if this is if um <clears throat> if the third or the fourth one was the longest because one of them is like three hours. So uh, this is gonna depend if it has to be split up into two, which I don't want to do. But you know, it's gonna have to be. <laughs> if, if it's gonna be really long, then uh. Well, oh well, but um, I had stream issues last time. It took like four days for the thing to be fully uploaded. It was cut off like at two hours, so, you know, let's start. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We call the film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so cute she is. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. Don't ever touch me again, freak. It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. That was a fresh reminder. That was pretty, uh, it's a pretty good reminder, if you ask me, you know. <clears throat> pretty lit. the audio all right guys like it's all Gucci <coughs> all right, excuse me life is strange episode 3 chaos theory Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Goodbye, Mr. Rabbit. Alright, let's see here. No interacting. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. All right, I think I'm getting sick, guys. So, uh, <coughs> whoops. Um, so that kind of sucks. So, 
Oh yeah, this is gonna have gun? this is gonna have consequences. Here, not on this. I was expecting a a consequence thing to appear. But yeah, I think I'm getting sick because uh, you know that's always that, that's always nice when uh, you know you get sick. So. And why is this person's store okay, always open? This is very dark. Let there be. Am I using my phone? Yeah, I'm using my phone. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. So much hypocrite. Yeah, see, it, no one ever feels feels it, or no one really understands until you know they actually hey, do it. Max, come here. Hey, Dana, how are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. Now it's time for serious payback. In other words, revenge. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sharla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. <clears throat> well, let's <sighs> Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Oh, someone texted me. Was it it? Oh, here. Thanks for letting me gush over our Blackwell hero. <clears throat> I miss your voice. We are very proud, so milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. <clears throat> Going through her shit. <coughs> Megan. <coughs> so Chloe is waiting My goodness. in front of the main hall. Oh, frame rate drops like a billion. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. Hold on, wait. Yeet. Come on, just let you try. He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. Let's uh let's uh let's rewind time more here. Max the ninja strikes again. Now, why won't they fit? <laughs> Alright, so where am I supposed to go? Front. Oh, yeah. oh my god! Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. 
More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Gosh darn it, Oh yeah, Victoria. and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? <clears throat> chaos I don't theory. see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I see the results. And then it's too late to rewind. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? All right. I forgot which one was Rachel. Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott. Oh yeah, Rachel. Um, Rachel was her friend, I think. Of course. They're both sociopaths. More like psychopaths. The Blackwell security officer even hits his own stepdad. And even though I don't know her. It feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it? There's uh, too many meetings that could be on kicking it. Kicking it, so... Dead, maybe? Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. <coughs> we have to. Well, I promise you we will. Like mother. you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Hey! Step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert drone here. Boy! Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from... Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, <clears throat> I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you biatch. fucking kidding me? Biatch, biatch, times like a thousand. So stupid. 
just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. <coughs> We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like we did with the weed. Oh yeah, whatever. I'm Your fault. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. Huh. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Come on, game. Thank you. <clears throat> Whoops. That's it. <laughs> what the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Huh. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Why would the key be in here, though? Nothing here. Can you stop cutting to a cutscene every time I want to search into a drawer? Unless it's the, <clears throat> the actual one or something. Whatever. Boring. Bet you it's this one. Crap. Nope. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hmm? Hey, Warren. You busy? Just bubble hearth. You'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. <clears throat> I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Sugar, you stay here soda and cans. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. <laughs> the race is on. See you soon. <laughs> Okay, let's see what Warren said. Here's how you'll do it. You'll need to find four objects. Sugar, a soda can, duct tape, and sodium chloride. Chlorate. I almost said chloride because I'm smart. What the heck? So you want to boom the door up. <clears throat> Okay, so we need a. F <coughs> Damn it! Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Let's search in the what trash can. Trash. Oh, okay. What do I need? Warren, where's Warren? Where is Warren?
Oh. So sugar, a soda can, duct tape, and chloro chlorine. Release the crack can. Take. It's all mine anyway. <laughs> Only three more items to go. <laughs> Whose classroom is gross? I hate that formal and smell. <clears throat> no sugar. Here. Ooh, sugar. You're halfway home, Max. Hmm. <laughs> Takes expects me to find all this stuff within like. What's this? Graffiti. Giants book. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not so. Here's the sodium chloride box. Take. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, what else do I need? <clears throat> Sodium. Oh no, whoops. Duct tape, okay. Only one more ingredient left. I'm sure there's duct tape around here somewhere. <clears throat> door. Did I already open this door? Oh shoot, I think I just did. Yep. <clears throat> So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Damn. Man, stuff is messed up right in here. The hell is this? Is this like a science wing or something? Did I just open? I just. Oh my god, I came from the same damn door! I mean, I went into the same damn classroom. Use some tape in Jefferson's class last week. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Huh. Well, I don't know. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Mr. Jefferson. I like calling him Mr. Oh, there it is. The tape is mine. <laughs> Now I just gotta find my way back to the. Uh, <clears throat> now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Is the bomb. I bet you she's still looking for all that stuff. 
I mean, she, I mean, she's still trying to like do everything. So I bet you, I bet you. Yep. Told you. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. <laughs> Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes. Time to blow shit up. If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool. I wonder if that would actually work in real life. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? I don't know. I don't know what we should do. Are you supposed to like pull up an option or something? Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. <laughs> the company I keep. <clears throat> now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see where the principal lost his <coughs> Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. But no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, <laughs> if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair? <laughs> Ew. Freaking cozy. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. <sighs> Excuse me. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Hmm. Her GPA is a 3.9. Wow. Do I want to read this? I don't feel like reading it. Only two more files to go. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Hold on. This is better. As principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my sad, unpleasant, regretful duty to inform you that your petition to block my new surveillance system has come up literally a handful of votes short. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters, as we encourage the facility and student body to participate in their student operations. I recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and rest rest assured that they will be implemented with the utmost concern for policy thank you for your passion and in inspiring black hole students to make their voices heard I hope they will not be too dis dis discouraged by the outcome of your petition we are proud of them principal wells mm -mm.
I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. Tumbleweeds. You're a tumbleweed. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. 3.7 GPA, my gosh. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. Oh my god, I have a GPA of a 2.8? Or she has a GPA of a 2.8? What the frick? Maxine Cla Caulfield. Yeah, what happens if I actually call the numbers on here? I'll probably go to somewhere. No, guys, I'm not going to do it because, you know, probably, you know. Hmm. Oh, whoops. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always and wanted to, to say that. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. She has a 4.0 GPA? Damn! Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Hmm. <laughs> A 1.7 GPA. Damn. Chloe Price is a problem problematic student at Blackwell. Despite the best efforts of the efforts 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 of the facility and administration to guide her academic academic oh god academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willing willing willfully. Oh, that's a word I've never heard before. Belligerent, belligerent toward teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with her inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. <coughs> Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. <laughs> wow. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. Which <laughs> powers are best for you? <clears throat> I know how you roll. 
We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. <clears throat> uh... <coughs> I think I can always change my options. I'm gonna leave the money. I mean, you'll see what happens. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank. Oh, back, but handicapped fund. I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office, Morg. Wait, can I not? Can I not? Can I not go back? Uh oh. Oh, okay. I know that money would have helped Chloe. Oh, God. Oh, I can't even open the drawer. Max, you better come. But what's the handicap fund doing? Like, is it for... Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid. Right? You are super, Max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. Uh, I feel like shit for taking that money. Damn it, what should I do? Should I take the money or should I... I mean, it's for the handicap fund. But what's the handicap fund doing? Like, what is it? Like, I don't know what that's doing. Like, is it making stuff more easier or something? I don't know. Someone comment, what should I do? Before I leave, I'm gonna give you like 20 seconds. So, whoever's watching better say something. Since no one seems to be commenting, um, um, flip a coin. Okay, so heads is take it. Flip a coin. Oh my god. Siri, flip a coin. It's tails. really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out. Okay. I'm not sure if I did the right thing or wrong thing. I just did something. 
That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls? Girls, let's go. Girls, of course. Girls, ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I feel like a perv. <laughs> Jeez. Well, we care, dickhead. Where's the damn pool? Oh, this is the pool. Oh. Damn, this is huge. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. What light? Nope, that's an oxygen kit. Mm. Where's the light? There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. <clears throat> yes, we get it. Otters. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> it's pretty freaking amazing. Okay, well, note to self, I need to, let, I need to let people know when I start, not I'm going to start. <laughs> Sorry, Emily. Can I swim? I want to swim too, douche. Time to do or die, Max. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. It feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not going to stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Do I need to look away? Cowabunga! Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> 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 
I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, <laughs> girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. Force so of nature. nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. <laughs> Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Well, I do, okay? So just listen to Captain Chloe. I'm trying. As long as we don't waste this power. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. <laughs> Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other. Otter versus shark style. Whoa. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm going to freeze my ass off when I get out. <laughs> just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hi! Hi. <clears throat> okay, if I go back over there, the guard will definitely bust me. Well, he can't go in the girls' locker room, right? Stop freaking. What do you want? Are you shitting me? <laughs> Dude, hide like when we were kids. I could use my power or just look for a hiding spot or both. Try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. 
I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Ah! I got a flashlight and a stick. Hey! Where the heck did Chloe go, though? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Now you're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. Oh. Okay, there are people texting me on Snapchat. And they're all from the same group of people, so I'll uh, look. Bet you, it, bet you it's about the post I post. Oh, okay, never mind. Hold on game, I'm texting someone. Take selfie. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. 
like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. I could find Rachel and pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. <coughs> I could just hang out all morning if we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Oh my god. No! <laughs> Copyright music! Blah, blah, blah! Okay, I need to get dressed now. It's probably a good idea. Warren! Almost glad. I don't think I'll be washing today. What? Just kidding. <laughs> Ew. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. <laughs> what? Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh my god. Oh, Wait! That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Why? Well, what kind of consequences will that? <laughs> Looking sick, Max? Couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Re breakfast. I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Hmm. Okay. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. Uh, do I have to read this? <clears throat> Max, thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at the school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. It's like when we were kids here. Good morning, Joyce. 
Rachel. Uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. But you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon, boy! Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. Hold on. I can't handle eggs. The eggs bacon. always come first, as Joyce used to say. And then we gotta find some bacon. I should evolve and become a vegan, but huh, bacon. All right, bacon is just the best. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or <coughs> wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Wait. And a king? That doesn't sound good. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. Okay. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> Eat. Man, I like Joyce. She cool. <clears throat> Oh my god, that's quick. I guess Whoops. nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Oh man. I don't want to be famous for this. There's something else I have to do here. See oh, you okay, again. there you go. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. <coughs> Show us the pictures, please. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. 
William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... And... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Feed instead. <laughs> Keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. It's about two hours and... 14 minutes. I do need to 40. get into David's computer. Right. <clears throat> He's gotta be hiding shit. Let's use. No shit it needs oh, a crap. password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Step douche, that's a pretty dope name. Let's search. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Search. Mm, give me a Maybe break. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Maybe. What does the text mean? The bubble thing? Emily. Step dead. Such wrong. Padlock. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. It might be a useful password. 7171. Oops. Naturally, I can even see the combination. Oh, okay. That might be a useful password. <clears throat> oh, shit balls. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. That's why rewinding is the best thing ever. Nothing in it. There's no way Chloe could put that gun back now. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Worst hacker ever. Nope. No way, Max. You totally stop. Mm. Control. Yep, I already searched in here. Okay. <clears throat> David has been dragging his head around since 2001. 
2001. Try again. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? That doesn't seem to be any use. Use. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. That was seven. Oh, 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 seven. <coughs> <coughs> nope. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. <laughs> Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. Hmm. It might be a useful password. Such wrong. No way. It's annoying. Personal. Nope. Family. There we go. Score. Max the hacker strikes again. Oh yeah. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I, to I better tell Chloe about this now. I ought to get to read it. Oh, it's just... <clears throat> Whoa. Spoiler. Instead of stalking Kate, this is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not. Now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? 
Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Side with Chloe. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Damn. Crap. I hope he doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. <laughs> totally not rewinding. It's too, too, too awesome of a badass. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. <coughs> <coughs> More than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. <laughs> That's funny. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. <clears throat> now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. This is so creepy. Look at all these flyers. The heck? Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry, I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as I am. We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell was the best thing you've ever demanded we do. <clears throat> it makes us so proud to read about you in the news, to see actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. And if you want to come back home to relax and maybe go... Maybe go to a high school around here. The door's wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been a real whirlwind here. Not ready to go home yet. Talk later, Max. Oh, so. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? 
You don't think it could be like climate change or something? I'm a fisherman, no scientist. I know the sea is warming, but this is something new. Maybe worse. What do you mean, worse? If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay... Sorry, I'm just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. <laughs> Oh, does that mean I can rewind? Good <coughs> bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys. For what? Ward, what? You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them, and you look like ass. <laughs> Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. What? What? There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackpool Academy. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, you don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. <clears throat> God, what do people want? <coughs> there she is. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And I'm glad you. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Yeah. What can I do for you, Max? Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. You can Frank, Nathan, or Officer Barry. <laughs> what can I do for you, Max? I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. 
Makes me sick thinking about it. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with the Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Jeez. <laughs> you eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad now because, you know, everyone should eat their food. <laughs> what the fuck now? Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look. Max Amber, nice outfit. Looks like ass on you. Sure hope you're not following me. You're in enough trouble after you got David fired. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Mm. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. <laughs> like you would know, Thanks, Emily. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. What can I do for you, man? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. That boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation. And he saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You were so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in a diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. No, oh, jeez. Holy shit, what? I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? 
I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Are you fucking stupid? Get out of my space. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. <clears throat> Holy sh- Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet you hoped that... Idiot says what? Did you drop? You were... Calm down. Right. Mm. Holy sh Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I can help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Holy shit. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You know, get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. What can I do? <clears throat> but that doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. What the fuck? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But, yeah. But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Neon. Ever. <laughs> I'll back off. Oh. Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. Damn, I really pissed him off. I need to go back. What the fuck? You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh. Uh, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. The magic keys to Frank's RV kingdom. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. What the? <laughs> Key brought. Now back to Chloe.
I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Uh, if I throw towards the road, he's gonna get hit because I can sense it. Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. <laughs> You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see <clears throat> us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. <laughs> you scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Of course Frank gets the... Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Hmm. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Is Frank going to deal <coughs> online now? <coughs> That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. No more secrets. Ooh, Frank's stash. <laughs> okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Mm -hmm. Crappy wife out here. It's taken days to download porn. Yuck. <laughs> the frick. How can somebody live like this? Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. This is almost as good as a set of keys. You're almost as good as a set of keys. Yep, called it. Curses. Nothing here. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank stop. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. <clears throat> I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Hmm. 
And it makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? She's another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Grow up! God, you're not the only one in Arcadia Bay with problems. Kate Marsh almost... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Crap went down. Crap at the fan. Use the A and D. <clears throat> Use the A and D and left, right, left mouse right button until you find the sweet spot.
Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. That's Chloe? Well, oh I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William Pins is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. Am I that well, far back in time? You need pancakes? In France, they call them. I'm 18 years I old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. <coughs> You remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's I true. love William so like he was in my Don't own family. Question, I won't let right. him die today. Like real cook here. Chloe is just so damn happy Mom. and carefree. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. I'll let her know that. Wait, why will it have consequences? Man, I remember Chloe reading this, but not after today. <clears throat> Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wins. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the safe. Whoa. It's all blurry here. Like I can't step out of the photographic bounds. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Oh, yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. You can't hide from me forever. Um. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. <coughs> Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Making a fabulous what a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. What? Where's his damn keys? Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! Be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? Score! That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Keys, please. <laughs> Hi. Shit, where are those keys? keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! <clears throat> I knew this thing would come in handy. 
How the hell did my keys end up here? Don't! Oh. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow. <laughs> Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. <clears throat> I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? And no. Dang it. Keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. <laughs> Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and joys and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Whoa. <clears throat> Whoa. What the hell? Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Be wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so hard. I know, sorry, Mad you Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? No, Do you want to go hit the girls' California potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no. This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Yeah. Chloe.
All right, sorry guys. Uh, I had to uh, talk to someone real quick. I bet you this song copyright. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. I like this guy. This guy's awesome. This guy seems nice. Don't tell me that's the end. That's the end? That's the end? What? What? No way. No way. No freaking way. I must have rushed this because uh, on the website it says uh, it takes about 2 hours and 40 minutes. But the rush is about 2 hours and 49 minutes. So. I must have been rushing. I guess. Damn. What? That doesn't make it what? That's just what well, that doesn't make any sense. So she's crippled. 
Well, guys, we're gonna see the stats because I forgot to show them. Uh, last time, I'll, I'll have to show that if I can. All right, let's see. Fifty-three percent left of the money. I'm in the majority. Seventy-eight percent kiss Chloe. Seventy-eight percent sided with Chloe. Um, sixty-four percent kept dog kept Frank's dog from getting hurt, which is good because I knew if I would have um put it into this, you know, threw the bone to the street, he would have gotten hit, which you know would have been really sad. Um. Chloe has David's gun. Doesn't wait. I don't. I don't get what that means at all. So I don't. I don't know. Next, Lisa is alive. Forty-two percent. You didn't help Warren with his exam. What? Huh. Interesting. You are not on the Vortex Party Club list. Uh, forty percent. I'm not sure what I uh. Had to do to get on there. You didn't change the Vortex, Vortex Club party. Where can I have changed that at, though? The whole freaking last 10 minutes was a freaking cutscene. You didn't erase the cops' messages. What? You didn't help Alyssa. 35%. I was supposed to help Alyssa? I didn't warn warn the homeless woman. I don't know what. You took a photo in the past, 52%. You didn't leave a mark on the fireplace. Huh. Friend stats? Nope. Okay. Damn. Oh, shoot. Life is Strange Episode 4, Dark Room. <clears throat> Damn. Exit to main menu. Now, choices, chaos theory. Out of time. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. Uh, you told Kate to go to the police, 33%. Um, you answered Kate's call, 81%. You tried to, to, you tried to shoot Frank... 52. You saved Kate's life, 62%. And I looked up the alternate ending for um, Kate, and it was kind of uh, depressing. 12% blamed David. Uh, wow, I didn't. Uh, I, I guess I should have blamed Nathan. I don't know. Um, you watered my plant. You watered your plant, 71%. You helped Alyssa, 61%. Oh, that's what that is. So, am I supposed to help Alyssa in, like, everything or something? You erased the link to Kate's video, 94%. You weren't friendly with Taylor, 53%. You accepted Warren's invitation, 77%. You didn't write a message, 44%. You tampered with the rail tracks, 32 I, didn't, I couldn't find another thing to that for the uh, this one right here. You didn't gain entry to the Vortex Club Party. 50-50. Um, you didn't help Warren. 56. You told on David to Mr. Jefferson. 78%. Well, guys. That's going to be it for this episode of Life is Strange. Episode? Part? Whatever this is called. Well, I, I had a part in the thing, so I'm just gonna call it part. But thanks for joining me to uh, watch or to play Life is Strange. Episode 3 out of... No, sorry. Chaos 3. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a, have a good day. Bye.